So last week, honestly, the potential to be the worst week of Tennessee Volunteers football ever. I mean, we were down 31 to three at one point against Arkansas in the first half. We came back, we won 38 to 37. So we're still alive and everything. We're still the number five ranked team in the country. And in tonight's episode, we're taking on number 10. It is the Florida Gators, a Florida team that is coming into this week one and one at picking up a huge win 56 to 17 against Ole Miss. And it's going to be a big one back in Knoxville for this one, Florida and Tennessee. It is the the third week in September and the volunteers cannot be slow out the gates in this game they gotta get going immediately you can't have that start against Florida like you did against Arkansas and somehow someway Jabari Small third in the Heisman race right now I mean okay we're gonna see Naquan right today from Florida Tank Bigsby from Auburn is currently number two and then there's Jabari Small at three. So here you go, Florida, Tennessee. Florida is number 10 coming into this game. The Volunteers, of course, are at number five. So two top 10 teams going at it here tonight. Teams two and four currently ranked in the SEC. One would be Alabama, two Tennessee, three Georgia. And then of course the Gators at four. But it's such a huge matchup right now in the SEC. You look at the SEC East, the three leaders, of course, in the three top guns in the division. The Volunteers, the Bulldogs, and Gators. And this game could really be huge when we look down the stretch of the season. Four, of course, tiebreakers for the SEC Championship game. So an absolutely huge one here tonight. And folks, if you have not yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more NCAA 14 here on the channel. Next week, Tennessee will be going on the road up to the Big Sky. I think Idaho's in the Big Sky. I mean, yeah, we're taking on Boise State. Of course, the Mountain West is own the Boise State Broncos. And honestly, Boise State's not very good. The only reason that game is in Boise and not in Tennessee is because I mean, I kind of wanted to play on the blue field because it's kind of cool. So we're going to go take on Boise next week. And if we beat Florida, that Boise game should be really damn easy. And tonight against the Gators, we're going to need a huge game out of Arch Manning. Manning's been really bad to start off the season. I mean, he's got like four touchdowns with eight interceptions. The yards are there because we throw the football the damn time. But we're going to really need a huge performance out of him tonight alongside Jabari Small, Jalen Hyatt coming back from injury. If you missed last episode, Harrison Bailey, man, came into the game we needed him to, picking up the slack for Arch after Manning went down with an injury but of course Manning is back and now he'll be playing against Florida instead of the 98 overall backup in Harrison Bailey so Florida gets it to start off here on a first and 10 that ball will be caught to the outside by the tight end and Nick Elksons he'll pick up 14 yards and now it will be a second 13 for the Gators offense it will be a halfback draw going to Demarcus Bowman and Bowman's gonna lose three yards but they're surprising they're not going to Naquan right in that spot but here you go third and 16 Anthony Richardson the quarterback taking a shot downfield to Nico Slaughter we gotta pick that football Oh, man. It's all right. We will get the ball back after a fourth and 16 for Florida. Our offense comes out from midfield on a third and 14. Manning dropping back, taking a shot downfield. He's got Julian Nixon. Nixon breaks off a tackle. One play, one score for Tennessee. 49 yards to the house. Arch Manning to Julian Nixon. It's a 49-yard touchdown. Tennessee goes up 7-0. Florida gets it back on a third and seven. Anthony Richardson looking to throw two is right. That ball will be caught, but short of the first down marker. Jaquavion Frazier is only going to pick up five yards. We're going to get the ball back again. Tennessee's defense is holding up, and now the offense on a third and four. Manning up the gun, looking to throw. He's got his man in the corner out. It is Jalen Hyatt. Hyatt down for a gain of 17 yards down to the Florida 35-yard line. It'll now be a third and 10, though. Manning again looking to throw, scrambling to his left. Arch on the run. We'll get it off. We're lucky that ball is not picked. Intended for Anderson Kobe. And on a fourth and 10 from about the 35, we're going to go for it. So here you go. Manning looking to throw. He's got Jabari Small. He beat him on the backside. Small showing why he's in the race for Heisman this season. He'll pick up 22 yards for the first down. Tennessee's now got it on a first and 10, and we're running Wildcat. Okay, Jabari Small is in the game at quarterback and I don't think this one's gonna work out because small is gonna run backwards 14 yards and get sacked yeah I don't think we're going back to the wildcat anytime soon so we have it now on a third and 26 Manning dropping back looking scrambling to his right Jimmy Callaway is gonna get that one swatted out of his hands and we're back to where we started basically James Norton's gonna have to attempt a very long field goal it'll be like a 42 yarder no 52 yarder oh my goodness James Norton okay I mean, the man's perfect for field goals throughout his college career so far. So James Dorn's been balling. The sophomore's got it. It's 10-0. Florida's back with it. Bowman's going to pick up a gain of eight right there on the check down by Anthony Richardson. It'll now be a first and 10 with 40 seconds to go in the first quarter. Richardson looking to throw to his right. Where are we going? Danico Slaughter's there. Making up for the drop pick earlier. And oh my goodness, Danico Slaughter might take it all the way back the other way. And Slaughter's going to be dragged down by Richardson, but he's within the Florida 10-yard line. Huge play for Danico. 
Nico Slaughter. And that's how we'll cap off the first quarter. Tennessee up by 10, 10 nothing. So it's a third and goal for Tennessee from the three yard line. Manning off the gun, handoff, going to Jabari Small. Small gets in, just added on to those touchdown numbers this season. Jabari Small is gonna make it 17 to nothing for the Volunteers. What a start. I mean, especially considering last week, my goodness, it's the third and 14. Four Florida's offense, I didn't even mean to dive right there with Joseph, but still, Frazier's can't get the first down. Tennessee gets yet another stop. Insane stuff. We get the ball back from the 20 yard line, second and nine for Arch. Scanley to his right, looking to throw, he's sitting, looking, somehow he gets it off, Jalen Hyatt, first down and more. Hyatt's gonna pick up a gain of 30 yards, getting it over midfield, now into Florida territory for a first and 10. Manning's got it in the gun, looking to throw, sitting, looking to his run, the comeback route. There goes Jalen Hyatt. Hyatt for a gain of 17 yards, moving the sticks one more time. It will now be a third and 12 for the Tennessee offense. Manning looking to throw again. He's being rushed. Arch Manning breaks off a tackle, taking a shot downfield. Jalen Hyatt's got it again. There's not a ball that man cannot catch. And Tennessee's got it down to a first and goal. And you know what we do? We hand the ball off to Jabari Small. He breaks off a tackle and he's in. Jabari Small gets touchdown number two, padding those Heisman stats. Tennessee goes up 24-0, and Florida gets the football back on a third and six. Anthony Richardson's got it out the gun. Can they pick up a first down? Going to Demarcus Bowman. Bowman's going absolutely nowhere. And we're gonna get the ball back again, up by 24 points. It's a first and 10 for Arch Manning. Looking to throw to his right, he's got Julian Nixon. And Florida just doesn't have any answers. They have no answers at all, man. It's a third and 19, they did get a sack, but here you go. You're letting Arch Manning air the football out, taking a shot, Ron Jackson, all the speed. Ron Jackson's gonna get in. 66 yards for Jackson. We're up 31 nothing on the number 10 team in the country. It's the statement that needed to be made. Florida's offense gets it back on a third and 10. Can they get a first down? We will see Anthony Richardson taking a shot one-on-one. -on -one. Hayden is there, a ball is swatted away. Kamal Hayden is all over it. And we're gonna get it back with 50 seconds to go. You might as well push the ball downfield. Here you go, first and 10. Manning, Jimmy Callaway on the corner route. He'll pick up a gain of 24 down to the 30 yard line. Tennessee with only one timeout left, but here on a third and six. Manning looking to throw, scrambling to his right. Arch on the run, gets it off to Jalen Hyatt. We might have to burn that final timeout. And I think we're going to. So we got 25 seconds, second and 18 for Tennessee. Manning looking to throw. You gotta get out of bounds, Ron Jackson. He's inbounds. He only picks up eight. You gotta get back in the huddle immediately. We've got 11 seconds to go. Tennessee picking their play, trying to get back to the line of scrimmage. Manning set, waiting for Jalen Hyatt. He's there. Here you go, four seconds. Manning taking a shot. Jimmy Callaway, he's in. Jimmy Callaway, a 17 yard touchdown. With one second to spare, Tennessee goes up 38 nothing after the end of the first half. You think we're playing, I don't know, Southeast Florida Tech? Cause we're killing this team. Who would have thought, man, after especially the week we had last week against Arkansas, all those struggles on offense, we're winning 38-0, no problems at all. Let's go close this in the second half. And yeah, we're playing the backups. I mean, there's no reason not to. We're gonna keep small in the game just so we can keep that Heisman run going, but what are we doing, Florida? I mean, Walker Merrill's burning guys downfield wide open for a gain of 55 yards. By the way, that's Harrison Bailey throwing him the football. So welcome to the ball game, sir. First and 10, Harrison Bailey keeps on a read option, trying to get in the end zone. He'll pick up a gain of 10, setting up for now a first and goal. It's now a third and goal. Bailey out the gun, looking to throw. He'll gun it into his right. Ron Jackson picks up touchdown number two, and the sophomore makes it 45 to nothing. Again, no words. Florida's laying an absolute egg as Kamal Hayden's gonna get an interception out of Anthony Richardson. Another turnover for Florida. They're both picks by Richardson. And Harrison Bailey's back out for a third and 13, looking to throw to his left. I don't know why Jalen Hyatt's in this game right now. Okay, as long as he doesn't get hurt again, we're all right. Hyatt's gonna pick up again at 22. Hopefully we don't see him ever again. Here on a first and 10, Bailey on a play action fake. Looking over the top, ain't no way. We just got it to our fullback. Andrew Richardson, 26 yard touchdown. We're up 52 to nothing. And we're just gonna fast forward. We're gonna play the key moments at this point. I mean, Anthony Richardson on the other side. 
for Florida is going to pick up a gain of 17 and a touchdown. Florida will finally get on the board, making it 52 to 7. Our offense comes back for a first and 10, though. Bailey on a play action fake. Might as well take a shot downfield. Ronald Sullivan, perfect ball by Harrison Bailey. This man should not be a backup. He's in 98 overall, throwing dimes in garbage time. It's a first and 10 read option. He keeps, he stays on his feet. Harrison Bailey makes it 59 to seven. So as soon as Florida scores, Tennessee responds instantaneously. It's 59 seven, we're up by 52 points going into the fourth quarter. My goodness. Okay, so we got five minutes left in this game. It's a fourth and one for Florida. I mean, again, they're now by 52 points. Richardson's gonna keep on a speed option. He'll get into the end zone. That's great. It's 14 to 59. They get the ball back on a second and four. Richardson dropping back, stepping up in the pocket. I don't know how we haven't tackled him yet. And okay, he'll get in again. So Anthony Richardson gonna do something in this game, I guess. He'll have three rushing touchdowns, but you don't gotta see anything else in that fourth quarter. We just ran the ball basically. And honestly, we could not run the ball at Jabari Small this entire game. I mean, look at the passing numbers. They're insane. But Jabari Small, yet 19 carries for six yards and two duddies. I know one of them's like the 14 yard loss on the damn uh, Wildcat play. But yeah, Jabari Small did nothing this game. But you know who did nothing as well? Naquan Wright, where the hell was he at? So, I mean, I guess two Heisman hopefuls bids have just ended today, both in small and right. We'll look at our scouting ever so slightly. And honestly, we're the number five team in the country, so we should have really good pull amongst all of these recruits. I don't think I've gone over our full recruiting class so far. I mean, there's nothing really special right now. Honestly, we're not doing that well. Like we're getting beat up by Western Kentucky with a running back that I'm not even scouting, but still, like I'm not doing a very good job scouting to start this at the very least. Um, I guess we're gonna try to go in on Mark Thomas out of Wellington, Florida. He's a five-star recruit. Again, trying to take him away from Western Kentucky. Let's hope the Hilltoppers do not get him. But I mean, we're looking at some receivers, Brian Price, Michael Bridges, David Gillum. I still can't recruit tight ends to save my damn life. I mean, I think we're going to get, we might be able to get Michael Harley, who's an 81 overall tackle. That's a huge pickup if we can get him. And maybe we're going to try to get Derek Jones, a tight end out of Cannon City, or Canyon City, Colorado. Um, we're going to try to get Martin Carroll, Ernest Nolan out of Highland Park, Texas. We're probably going to remove all of our points on him and then just go for Martin Carroll instead. We try to go after two centers. We're probably going to get Ben Archer out of Rodney Village, Rodney Village, Delaware. All right. Yeah. 65301 four stars we'll take that i'm trying to get him away from georgia and ohio state herman weber is going to be one of our big pickups hopefully we can get at tackle there's darrell thibodeau and ronald smith i'm just going to focus in on one of these guys and it's going to be ronald smith I'm going to try to focus him away from georgia alonzo matthews looks like we're going to get him at an outside linebacker we'll probably be able to get eric walker at middle linebacker as well corners we just can't recruit corners i've accepted this Nothing else to say. Uh, Sean Neal, we really aren't trying to get at strong safety. And then we got some of the athletes. Ty Rogers, the big prospect we're trying to get. We'll see if we get him or not. So folks, that was it for episode number 33 of the Tennessee Volunteers Dynasty Mode here on NCAA 14. Absolutely huge win here against Florida, against number 10. We'll see what happens next week as we head on the road over to Idaho to take on the Boise State Broncos. So folks, thank you all for watching. Make sure that subscribe button down below for more. Make sure to leave a like as always. If you did enjoy the video, give a like. See you all for watching. And Mamba, forever.